Very angry, very frustrated as well, you would think, Roberto Mancini. Uh, that game against Spurs here, incidentally, you'll see live with us on Sky Sports. That's how it looks right now. Manchester City stay fourth, 62 points from 34 played. If Spurs beat Chelsea today, and what an incentive there is to do that now, they will take fourth. Liverpool and Aston Villa very much the outsiders at the moment, but neither will give up yet. And don't forget, we're with Villa tomorrow at Fratton Park. Uh, sensed at half-time, Francis, when you said I'll take the draw, you knew that was, there was um, uh, perhaps a twist in, in this for United today. W w would you, at this point now, um, uh, settle for what City have got plainly, that that would be the case, that you can believe fourth is takeable? Oh, it is takeable, because sometimes teams have to win the last three games or, or get points of the last three games. C City really have got, have, have got to beat Tottenham. Tottenham have got to come here and if City beat them, well, it's nearly they're nearly assured of the fourth place because mm. I don't think the other one, the other two, can catch them. No. But we we hinted at it again earlier. This is a club that down the years there's been plenty of should haves and could haves, isn't there? Uh, our city are evolving beyond that now. Yeah, it's a different scenario. Here. It's a very very professional setup, you know, right from top to bottom, all through the club, uh, and uh, it's a different attitude. And uh, I don't think it, it, I don't think they'll blow the chance. I think they'll do it. And what are, what are, what are the club capable of achieving with the sort of backing there is here now? They're, they're, they're capable of being one of the top four clubs for the next 10, 20 years once they get there. And um, I think they've got the wherewithal to do it. Uh, it's a very well run club, it's a very sensibly run club. And uh, let's hope they do do. Because right. the fans really deserve it, because they've, they've not had a lot to shout about for a long, long time. No. Uh, can, can we talk titles? Is that a, a, a achievable for Manchester City? You can't talk titles until you, you start another season, really, can you? you you just got to see, and if they do, if he does strengthen his squad, if he's going to be playing in the Champions League, uh, and you look at the the, sort of the defence today, you think, well, you wouldn't fancy the defence against some of the teams in the Champions League. You've got to strengthen it somewhere. You and, know? And, and does qualifying for fourth in the Champions League change the sort of quality that you're looking at? To bring in, can you attract oh, better, much yeah, better players? Oh, it certainly does because they, they, they obviously can afford to pay them. Uh, the, the wages is good, or uh, not bigger than anybody else, and the club becomes an attraction then. And you'll 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 pull in some of the best players in the world, which, uh, well, the the owners can afford to do that. It's all set up here now, isn't it? It's all set up, yeah. Mm. I think so. I, you know, I think I think the the benefits of getting into, the, into that fourth slot, getting into the Champions League helps you go and try and push to win the league as well because the experience gained playing in the Champions League, playing against the very best in the world, just lifts everybody's you know, ante yeah. up a little bit and, and it, then you just gradually keep moving up that ladder to, you know, to really competing at the, at right at the top. But, it, but it, it, in a way, if they were strangled today, City, by the enormity of this, w would there be a concern for you that that might also be the case when Tottenham come here? I think you're getting carried away, Richard. <laughs> the first half, United were the better team. I thought the second half, City were the better team. There's not, there's not much difference. And as, as I said, both games have been decided in, in added on time in both games. There's not a big difference. You know, what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Everton, incidentally, have just gone one up at Sunderland. Arteta has scored there. Uh, Blackburn, rather. Um, uh, uh, Everton have just gone one up there. Right now, who's favourite for fourth? For fourth, yeah, I still think Manchester City. And I agree with Francis. I think the game here is massive. It becomes a. That's going to be a good game. The game against Tottenham here. That's but what's left. They're both. They're no easy run-ins for both, is it? They're both both difficult. See, Arsenal can get those Spurs a big favour, can't they? And again, we're you know we're projecting forward to the, later on the, t today. That's that becomes a, a big game. If Tottenham can nick something there. It's all to play for. It's, it's such such a big incentive. So much to play for. And that, I think that's what went against City a wee bit today. I just thought that they, today was they were a wee bit anxious at times. Once the game stretched at the end and, and, and City were allowed to counter, they looked better. They looked a better side, and they won't come up against defences like Manchester United in these next four games. No, so they will create chances. That would be the plus from that point of view. What would down the years, Francis? So many good memories for you. What what would be um, what would be top of the pile, or is it impossible? I'd like to see City win the championship. I, I really would, you know. And, uh, Something you did, of course, where it was 68, mm, yeah, yeah, too yeah, many years but, ago. Um, it is, yeah. But I'd like to see City win the championship. Uh, I think they'll, they've got the, the wherewithal to strengthen the team to do that. Uh, forget European you know, Champions League and everything. Have they ever good run? It's a bonus. But the most important thing: win your domestic championship. And this season, how much progress have you seen made? I think they'd be, well. I, th I, th I, th I thought early on in the season they did very well, but the, the trouble is they drew they drew a lot of games against it, in what you would call inferior sides, 
and that was the, the problem which, which Mark had, and I think that's one of the reasons why he, he wasn't kept on it, you know. But uh, they, they, played, they played very good football all season, very attractive football, and they're not. They're a team you can go to the ground and think, well, we will see something exceptional. We will see that's something always pleasing, been away, hasn't it? We will see something exciting, you know, because yeah. that's the most important thing for your paying fans is entertain them. And if you can entertain them, and, and then the uh, the bonus of winning the championship or winning a domestic cup comes along, well, that's even better. And from Manchester United's point of view, uh, and Chelsea's because they're next up, it very much is game on, isn't it? Oh, I think, I think it's good for the, good for the Premiership that United won, because it now, it now takes it further. I think if they'd lost today, I think Chelsea would have been right in the box seat and, and you would have fancied them to go and win the league. But now it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be really tight. Still Chelsea just, just ahead. Yeah, I think Gary Neville conceded that, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Gary. Thank you very much, Francis Lee. Pleasure. It's been an yeah. absolute pleasure to see you. Thank you very much. Very much enjoyed your company this afternoon.